Hello guys, it's Kitty here. We'll take a look on uh, on the free to play Zoo Warlock. Well, I mean, Zoo Warlock is pretty strong right now with these guys right there with Librarian, with the Homo Nucleus, or a solid budget deck, I feel so. So, if you are one of these guys who doesn't really have uh, a lot of dust, definitely a good choice for you. Um, I guess, yeah. Solid Zulak list with the inclusion of Demon Fire to buff our demons. I don't see the Blood Fury Potion there, but I guess we don't really need it as well. So I really like the inclusion of Spellbreaker in this meta because it really looks that you could use the Silence. I would even I would I wouldn't even hesitate that much and like insert maybe two of them. I don't know, but that's maybe just too greedy. Well, let's just go and see how this deck for, for mo performs, guys. Free to play Zulak, it's going to be. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll enjoy what you're going to see. Malfurion, well, Jade Druid, Agro Druid, Jungle Giants, OTK version. Wow, this curve, man. Yeah, guys, I feel like we're keeping this hand. I mean, that's like the dream hand, right? I mean, we could maybe consider like. Flame Him would be. Ooh, it's actually. It's actually the OTK version, guys. I didn't expect that at all. Well, uh, if he has nothing on turn 2, it's better to play Firefly because we don't really we don't really need a card right now. I like to play Firefly here just to play around the hero power because if he if he's going to hero power now, it's going to be so bad for him. But like, yeah, if he has the wild growth, we cannot know that, right? And I mean, yeah, we just play this. Next turn we play a councilman, which is going to be protected by this, and then we play chain gangs, man. So strong. Wow, he's ramping like crazy though. Well, let's just hope he he doesn't have any minions, I guess, <coughs> or any actual cards to play. Yeah, we're just playing councilman, easy peasy. Chain gangs. Turn five is going to be, I guess, librarian. Ooh. All right. We're definitely not clearing it. That's for sure. So we just play this and everything face. We're just going to out temple him. I think we we could kill him until he even completes his quest. And I mean, trying OTK me, trying to OTK Zulak is with this build exactly. I don't know. We already have 10 damage on the board and it's just going to increase, so... Wow, that's an um, interesting play right there. So, we are drawing... We're just going to spam all of the cards. Do we want to clear it? I don't really think so, man. We just everything face, guys. Everything face. All right, discarding the coin is pretty huge for us. Sure. Well, yeah, I missed one damage. My bad. I should have played the soul fire before I attacked. Yeah, that was my bad. But um, there's no way he's getting out of this, right? They are not running spreading plaques. Wow. Alright though, this is actually, but he's going to die in two turns, so... Well, yeah. He has 14 damage. And he can just tap, play two Void Walkers, and he's just going to die. Unless he plays Earthen Scales, which I don't think they are playing. So he's just going to get killed by his own Baron Gaddens. Well, practically, is he? Because the... Uh, wait, what? I mean, the other Geddon is going to kill the other Geddon. I don't know. No, he's going to die. Alright. Alright, I, was, I, I wasn't I was sure about this interaction right there. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen two Baron Geddons on the board, to be honest. And in 2017. Almost in 2018, man. What the hell? Wow, a rogue, which name is peaceful. 
escape my fury. Your soul shall be mine. So we're mulliganing away soul fire and keeping this. We can go. I guess we can coin out the two one drops and then play demon fire on flame imp if it survives. If not, we will see. He could uh, like miss the turn one. That would be good for us at least. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Draw. Do we actually need to play the coin? I think we should do that. I mean, five, five, four stats, five, three stats on turn one. I like it. I like it. If he doesn't have backstab, we could just will play the alpha. I don't know. We're going to play demon fire. Yeah, it's just too hard for him to deal with it. I mean, he cannot play Wallspine. He like he could play Sap, I guess. If he plays it, we don't know which version it is now. Wow, come on, bro. Unfortunate. All right. We're playing these two demons because we're going to play Crystal Weaver next turn, which is going to buff our demons, actually. It's pretty funny that my health total is lower than his. <laughs> and he didn't do anything at all. Come on, man. I think we're not trading. We just buff this and go face. Next turn we play the Doom Guard and we just work him like hell. Best case scenario, we don't discard the Soulfire for more reach. But I mean, with the Doom Guard, we have 13 damage, right? Yeah, he's almost dead. Yeah. Oh, two Soulfires. So let's see what we're going to discard. Alright. We have one left, so we need to push one more damage and we win. I mean, how is he going to deal with this warp? I don't know. Yeah, you could. Tr well, you can. It's Melrock. Wow. Yeah, this deck kind of punishes Melrock for sure. I don't know. There's no way he's going to get out of this. Even if he like goes prep vanish, we can still play the Doom Guard. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, he can like draw. All right, uh, let's just let him make the things. Playing the Murlax man to draw the cards. I can see. Wow, I am even rank four, guys. So good today. I have such a win streak today. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it did. And maybe you also learn something. Uh, in the Zulak, it's um, I, st I feel it's pretty important to know when you should push. push yeah. <coughs> I think in the Zulak, it's really important to know when you should push pressure, when you should pressure your opponent and when not. Like in the last game against the Milrogue, I just tre seam rolled him right. He like didn't have too much chance. I mean, sapping the buffed flame imp was like. Pretty, uh, I would say, temple loose for me, but I mean, I've curved out a really good, so yeah, he just couldn't, uh, couldn't, he just couldn't stay in the same temple place I did, right? He just played a 3 2 on turn 4, which is completely weak against this. And we just play Doom Guard and Curve. And I mean, if you see this and you even have Soul Fires in your hand, there's no reason like to trading into that, right? Uh, the second thing is that a rogue has zero healing unless he plays the King's Bane with Leeching Poison, which gives the weapon life steal. But that's not really an option because he certainly not is not going to develop this in like turn five or what turn it was. So. Once again, thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, you should subscribe to my channel and hopefully we will see each other in the next videos and have a nice day.